we got to deliver this baby out to the world. Uh, it has to uh, come out uh, and, and strong. And I think precisely because of that awareness and that expectation, uh, we are delivering. Each is eager and anxious, asking the question, what can we do? The private sector, certainly. My message to the private sector is, the house is finished. You are going to move in. Don't worry about the furniture is inside, but you have to come in and help arrange or rearrange the furniture is inside. Let this conversation be an inclusive conversation, not the works of the architects of ASEAN, the leaders, the diplomats, the people of my generation. ASEAN is for the younger generation. But how much involvement has the younger generation really had and how much awareness is there amongst I the ASEAN citizens? I think it is rising, but I think they are looking for a, an entry point and uh, certainly the landscape is opening up and the base of uh, largest consumer uh, group is, is here uh, and it's, it's growing and middle class is growing, purchasing power is rising and that's what everybody is looking into. Uh, all the investors from outside, 150 billion US dollars are coming in here and the most interesting part about that is 70% of that figure, 150 billion US dollars, 70% is going into the service sector. Why? Because of the quality of life that the middle class is asking for. They want, you know, an easy uh, life. They want um, services in education, in health, in logistics, in transport, in entertainment. All these things are signs that it is going to be a very, very vibrant. So notwithstanding mm -hmm. that the ASEAN consumer is a compelling draw to the region, aren't there concerns that entering into different markets, even if you are an ASEAN player, mm -hmm. can be challenging? Sometimes there are more protectionist policies in place. How do we overcome that? That's what I think the leaders will have to turn their attention to. We have finished building the house. Now they have to re really take care of those who are still reluctant of coming into this uh, landscape. Uh, if, they, if they feel that they are not competitive enough, if they feel that they need more help, they need more time, I think the leaders and the governments will have to help them and have packages for them. Uh, financial support, information support, uh, entrepreneurship training. People are worried about the 25% intra-ASEAN trade. I am worried too, but I also look at that as an opportunity. Precisely because it's very low as a community, as an economic community, and that is where the growth has to be. So, 2.5 trillion US dollars trade, 75% we trade with the world. Only 25% we trade with ourselves. That has to be a room for growth, for SMEs of ASEAN moving cross borders into each other's uh, economies.